Moving on now this year, one important question for CalCAF producers to be asking is, could heifers have more potential value than a steer? While bulls are important genetically, cows will provide and deliver the vast majority of what the calf needs when it comes to from conception to weaning. Market Journal's Bill Dodd is standing by with more on this topic. Bill? As cow calf producers head out to tag new calves, many may prefer to find a new bull calf as opposed to a heifer. This is due to the fact that most bull calves will become a steer and will produce more weight, bringing in more money per pound when selling at weaning. However, in some cases, heifers may have more potential value than a steer. Yeah, so I think most cow calf producers, you know, if they think about the value of calves they sell at weaning, uh, that bull calf that's born is going to become a steer. He's going to be worth, you know, $150, even $200 more potentially than the heifer mate born at the same time in a typical market. Now, sometimes those things change, especially in the market we're moving into now uh, with a short cow herd inventory. Heifer calves are going to have more value, but heifers really provide a lot of opportunities for cow calf producers. You can sell them, of course, at weaning. Uh, you re can retain them and then you can breed them. Uh, you can sell the opens, the non pregnant heifers as a feeder heifer. Those bred heifers then can enter your herd, produce calves for you. And then they're gaining in value, especially as you look at the value of bred females right now. Uh, then you have the option to sell them as a bred female as well. The thing that also offers some opportunity with heifers is that they're breeding stock. So from a tax purposes standpoint, if you retain them more than two years, when you sell them, uh, they're taxed at a capital gains rate rather than as ordinary income. So that's something to visit with your tax accountant about, but that can have some pretty significant tax advantages as compared to a steer calf that would not be recognized as breeding stock. Naturally, the cattle market and long-term cattle cycle factor into these decisions, as well as the structure of any particular cow-calf operation. We typically see what we call a cattle cycle in the United States, where we see cow herd numbers build with inventory as cattle prices go up because cow calf producers are being more profitable. So if you're more profitable, you want to have more calves to sell. So you grow your cow herd inventory. Um, you know, there's some things that influence that as well, things like drought and things like that, that result in cow numbers dropping. But then as cow calf producers run into having uh, more unprofitable years as they have more calves to sell, typically then they reduce their cow herd number. As the cow herd number reduces, you have left calves to sell, which eventually drives prices back up. So it's this long-term cycle. Right now, we are moving into a period of time where cow herd inventories have gone down for a number of reasons, both cattle prices and drought. And so we're in a period of time now where cow calf producers are going to be in a strong position and prices are going to probably be higher. Uh, because we're in a shorter inventory. So feed yards and those who harvest cattle for beef are going to be looking for cattle, which they're going to be shorter in supply. That drives prices up. So as you think about your cow-calf operation, being able to have some flexibility there in terms of thinking about how I market cattle, when I market cattle, um, you know, maybe varying the amount of replacement heifers you keep, being able to sell more uh, bred females when market prices really are demanding those can really change profitability. It's worth taking some time to sit down and look at, as you continue to think about the prices that we're going to see in the next few years, what cattle are going to have the most value. And then as you think about your own operation, as you think about the cattle you have in inventory, how can you capture value from what the market wants? And you know that might be an opportunity to do something different than you traditionally would, but don't miss the opportunity. Put a number to the value of the cattle in your herd what's happening with their value, what's going to happen with depreciation, and can you find a way to make that work for you financially? Depending on the structure of your cow-calf operation, there could be outstanding opportunities to capitalize on the value of heifers when working with market conditions and capitalizing on the tax advantages. When taking these factors into account, there are good opportunities for cow-calf producers to leverage a heifer's potential value. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.